Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Tweety Puff Stitch Scarf. This is a great scarf if you want to learn the puff stitch because it's just row after row of puff stitches, so you'll get lots of practice. The yarn I used for this project is the Lion Brand Tweed Stripes, and I like this yarn for this because it has slow changing colors. There's a lot of colors, but they're slow changing, so it doesn't appear overly busy and doesn't take away from all the puff stitches. So you'll need two balls of this for your scarf. So let me get the scarf out of the way a little bit. You'll also need a six and a half millimeter K crochet hook. And to finish off your scarf, you'll need a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. To begin your scarf, you'll want to put a slip knot on your hook and chain 20. To chain 20, wrap yarn around hook and pull through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Next, in the fourth chain from the hook, so this loop here does not count, one, two, three, and four, so this chain right here, will work our first puff stitch. To work the puff stitch, wrap yarn around hook, insert into the chain, and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, insert into the chain, and bring up another loop. You'll have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, insert into the chain, and bring up another loop. You'll now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, and you're gonna draw all this through all these loops here, just like that. And then chain one. So let's do that again. We'll skip one chain, and in the next chain, we'll work another puff stitch. Yarn around hook, bring up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn around hook, bring up a loop, five loops on our hook, yarn around hook, bring up a loop, seven loops on our hook. I like to hold these kind of like this. Yarn around hook, bring it through all seven loops, and chain one. Okay, so now we have two puff stitches. Okay, we're going to skip another chain, and in the next chain we're going to work another puff stitch. Three loops, five loops, seven loops. Bring it through all those loops and chain one. Okay, let's skip the next chain and then the next chain, yarn round hook. I also wanted to show you here that when you bring up your loop, just give it a gentle little tug to keep everything nice and loose. That way when you draw your hook through all those loops, it's a lot easier. Yarn around hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring up a loop. Seven loops on our hook, yarn around hook, bring it through all those loops, and chain one. Pull out a little bit more yarn here. Skip the next chain, and in the next chain, three, 
five and seven. Bring it through all those. Chain one, skip the next chain, and in the next chain, another puff stitch, three, five, and seven. Skip the next chain and then the next chain here. Three, five, and seven. I remember when I was making this scarf, I said three, five, and seven to myself a lot to keep me on track. So skip the next chain and in that next chain, three, five, and seven, chain one. So at the end of each one of these chains, I mean each one of these puffs to, to close it up and lock that stitch, that chain one is important. So we're going to skip a chain and then this last chain right here, we're just going to work one double crochet. Double crochet, yarn around hook, insert into the chain, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, pull it through the first two loops, yarn around hook, pull it through the last two loops. Okay, so this is our foundation row. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight puffs on this row. Let's move on to the next row. I'll pull out a little more yarn here. The puff stitch, or any, the, uh, the puff stitch is really a type of cluster stitch, but all these cluster stitches like to use a lot of yarn. So I feel like I'm pulling out lots of yarn today. So to go into our next row, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Turn our work. So the row we're about to do will be the row that you'll be doing for the entire scarf. So let's get started on this row. We did our chain three, turned. Now, the puff stitch we're about to do, this is the puff stitch from the previous row. The puff stitch we're about to do will be worked in the stitch above the puff stitch from the previous row. So see this little hole right here? This stitch right here is where we'll be working our puff stitch. So this work your puff stitch the same way we've been doing. Wrap yarn around hook, insert it into that stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn around hook, bring up a loop, five loops on your hook, yarn around hook, bring up a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn around hook, pull it through, and chain one. There you go. See how those puff stitches are stacked just like in our finished scarf. So let's go on to the next puff stitch, the little stitch right above there. Yarn around hook, bring up a loop, three loops, five loops, seven loops, bring it through all those, chain one. Next puff. three, five, and seven, chain one. Next puff, three, five, and seven. Sometimes if it feels a little tight, uh, you can just kind of give it a nice tug. Pull through all seven loops and chain one. To pull some more yarn out there. And the next puff. Three. Five. And seven. Seven. 
chain one. Okay, we have a couple more puffs left on our row. Three, five, and seven. Bring them through, chain one. Wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop, three, five, and seven. Bring them through, chain one. Okay, we've come to the last puff on our row. So three, five, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring them through, chain one. Okay, so we've made all the puffs on our second row. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like the row before it. To finish off this row, here we have our turning chain from the previous row here, and you're just gonna work one double crochet in the top stitch of the turning chain. Just like that. Okay, so here's the foundation row and the first row of the Tweety Puff Stitch scarf. To make, like I said before, to make the scarf as long as you'd like it to be, just keep repeating this row. You can leave it as an a traditional scarf when you're finished or you can even seam up the ends to make a pretty infinity scarf. The, pu the puff stitch is uh, nice and lofty so it'll be warm. And um, that's it. That completes our tutorial. So thanks so much for watching and be sure to click the red subscribe button to get all the latest YouTube Fiberflux updates. So thanks again.